rabab suto lo braka se tali grianga suto boshtende li pro suto bole kri enga shtanda la gali broko suto boshtende rene moku lo braka suto boshtende yali derie li broko suto boshtende yali derie anga la babu sune kala braka suto boshtende yali deke li braka sata praise the lord good evening my brothers and sisters in christ uh, we you are welcome to Redeem Christian Church of God, beautiful Gate Glasgow uh, um, platform today uh, for our Bible study. And I just want to appreciate God for your life. Um, I want you to just call on your friends and uh, your family members to gather together for our Bible study tonight. I would like to invite you to join me to pray this evening. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, we adore you, we worship you, we magnify you for all that you have been doing. Glory and honor be unto you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your unfailing love. Glory be to your name. We consecrate this platform again this evening unto you. We ask, O oh God, that you have your way, that you move through all, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no limitation to how far you can go. No limitation to how far your word goes. Glory be to your name. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus Christ's precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Uh, let's just take one or two words, I mean, uh, praise songs to just worship the Lord tonight. Blessed be thy name of the lord hallelujah you are worthy to be praised and adored yes so i lift up holy hands in one accord singing blessed be your name blessed be your name blessed be your name O lord blessed be your name blessed be your name O lord hallelujah you are worthy to be praised and adore yeah so i lift up holy hands in one accord oh yeah singing blessed be your name oh lord blessed be your name jesus blessed be your name oh lord blessed be your name lord blessed be your name Oh Lord, our Father, you are worthy to be praised and adore and adore. So we lift up holy hand to praise your name, O oh Lord. Singing, blessed be your name, O oh Lord. Blessed be your name, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords. You are worthy. Worthy. You are worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords, we worship you. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy. You are worthy. King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy. Worthy. You are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, we worship you. You are high and lifted up, there is no one like you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 
Halle, Halleluja. You are high and lifted up. There is no one like you, Jehovah. Halle, 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 Halleluja. You are high and lifted up. There is no one like you, hallelujah, halle, 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 hallelujah. We have a Father, oh, almighty Father, he is King of kings and Lord of lords. We have a Father, oh, hallelujah. We have a Father, oh, almighty Father, King of kings and Lord of lords. We have a Father, oh, we have a Father, almighty Father, oh, yeah. King of kings and Lord of lords, we have a Father, oh. we have a Father, oh. Almighty Father, Lord, King of kings and Lord of lords, we have a Father, oh. oh, we have a Father, oh. Almighty Father, Lord, King of kings and Lord of lords, we have a Father, oh, oh we have a Father, oh, Marababo Sekarabash Tendalia, Almighty Father, Lord, King of kings and Lord of lords, we have a Father, oh, Come on, oh! Can you go ahead and just sing and, and just and just sing that song as is as a personal declaration unto the Lord that you have a Father. I have a Father, oh, Almighty Father, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I have a father. Oh. Go ahead and just declare that the Lord is your father. Go ahead and declare that the El Shaddai is your father. Go ahead and declare that the Almighty is your father. In the midst of every situation, in the midst of every challenge of life, He remains our father. He remains our God. He remains our strength. He remains our glorious one. Let's exalt Him. Let's magnify Him. Let's adore Him. Oh Lord, we worship you. Oh Lord, we worship you. Maria Masoto Balikriega Shta Lite Kelebro Lani Makaya Lagalibro Kosoto Bashtenda Liderie. Blessed be your name. You are worthy to be praised, oh God. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy. You are worthy. Blessed be your name, O oh God. In Jesus Christ, precious name, we have worship. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Father, we thank you once again because you are faithful. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want you to lift up your voice wherever you are tonight. And I want us to take one or two prayer points before we go into the study tonight. I want you to lift up your voice and give thanks unto the Lord for the gift of life. The Bible says, if not for the Lord, if not for the mercy of the Lord, we will have been consumed. Go ahead and just say, Father, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of fellowship. Thank you for the gift of relationship. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise. I give you praise. We give you praise for the gift of life. The Lord, day by day, we go to our bed. And Lord, every morning you wake us up. We are grateful to you. We are grateful to you. Almighty Father, we honor you. Ancient of days, we are grateful to you for gift of relationship with all our Lord, our family members, all our friends. Lord, for gift of fellowship with all our brethren. Lord, we say thank you. We are grateful. Lord, for the privilege even to come together on this platform, we are grateful to you, O God. We bless you, Father. Blessed be your name, O God. In 
in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Now we want to read from Psalm 25 verse 3 and take a prayer point from that scripture. It says, Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Now look at it. He said, Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. You're going to lift up your voice unto the Lord. You're going to say, Father, my trust is in you, O Lord. Therefore, I declare in my life, I shall not be put to shame. In the midst of all this pandemic or whatever it is called, I shall not be put to shame. My trust in you, O God, shall not be put to shame. My faith in you, O God, shall not be put to shame. I shall not be put to shame. I shall not be put to shame. Put to shame. Lord, in the name of Lord Jesus, they that put their trust in you, O oh God, they will never be put to shame. They that wait on you, O oh God, cannot be put to shame. Therefore, we declare, O oh God, that, Lord, as we wait on you, as we put our trust in you, as our shield and our fortress, as our defender, O oh Lord, we will not be put to shame. Lord, we will not be put to shame. In the morning, you will remain our God. You remain our fortress. You remain, O oh God, the strong tower, Lord, oh God, that defends us, that bring us safety. Glory be to your name. We will not be put to shame. Lord, we bring you glory. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want to thank God for your life. And uh, please, uh, for the for us to enjoy this, uh, we have two platforms for us. We have the Facebook platform and the Zoom platform. But we want to encourage those of us that are on the Zoom platform that you please help us to mute your, your, your device so that your, your, the, the noise and the voice of yours will not come up. But I've been enjoying the interaction of the voices that I'm, I'm hearing. But please, as we go into the study, help us to mute your device and so that we can all enjoy it together. And when it's time for question, uh, those of us on Facebook, you can post your question. And when it's time for um, those of us that are on the uh, uh, Zoom platform also, you can as well post your questions. And we'll see how we go by it as the Lord uh, give us uh, permission. Praise the Lord. Uh, so, in the comfort of your home and in the comfort of my home tonight, I'm bringing you the Word Feast, our Bible study for tonight. And I want to believe that God, God understands all things. And I want to encourage you to avoid all manners of distraction there as you, as you are at home. Take it as if you are really, you are really in church. Uh, what I encourage like my people at home here is that I said we should find a way that we can get something. I mean, we can get a device to cast, I mean, uh, to cast the, 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 the broadcast from our, our small devices onto the television and everybody will gather around it and then we can, they can begin to wash it. Praise the Lord. So thank you once again for joining me tonight. Uh, your presence, your, 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 your presence actually online matters so much to us. And we are grateful that every one of us are still standing strong and will continue to stand strong in Jesus' name. Tonight, our study is on benefit of sanctification. And that's continue our study on sanctification. Uh, benefit of sanctification. Uh, you could check your web, I uh, mean, your Facebook. You'll find your Facebook page, you'll, you'll be able to find the copy of the outline. If you also go to your WhatsApp, you'll be able to find the copy of it as well. And possibly those of us that are on Instagram, you can also find the copy of it, and then we can use it all together. Now, uh, we said once again, I said we're looking at benefit of sanctification, and uh, if you remember, uh, we said that. Sanctification simply means being separated to God, being set aside to God, aside for God, which is the same thing as uh, living a holy life. So sanctification could also be used as holiness, holiness. Now, 
Often in this our present age, we don't talk much about holiness any longer. We don't even talk about sanctification. It's a word that is very scarce or rare in our time. So when we talk about sanctification or holiness, we're just simply saying what you do with your life day by day. What you and I do with our life day by day in response to the word of God. Responding to the word of God, how, how do you live your life? How do you conduct your life? How do you conduct what you say what you look at what how, how you dress what you i mean how you relate with people all around us that's that's what holiness and that's what sanctification simply means it is ordering your conduct according to the word of god and the promptings of the holy spirit no you know it is it, a choice like we had on sunday uh for those who were on the i mean who were around on the on the video platform that we ministered through on sunday that i mean holiness or sanctification is a choice that you make that today i am going to live by the word of god this moment by moment i'm going to live by the word of god now so holiness is the habit of being one mind with god sanctification is being of one mind with God, it is of turning away from the ways of the world and living instead in agreement with him, with God. Now he's saying no more to every form of worldliness and saying by choice I am, I, 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 I am I'm making, it, I'm, I'm making up my mind to live according to the dictates of God's word. Now, now, so today we shall be looking into the scripture to consider the various advantages of sanctification or holiness. Now, God never demand anything from his children without a benefit, without a profit, without an advantage towards us. It's not actually to hurt you. It's not actually to destroy you and myself. It's to bring us Onto a victorious experience day by day. And so tonight we're going to look at five benefits of sanctification, five benefits of living a holy life, five benefits of being separated unto God. Number one, sanctification encourages and strengthens intimacy with God and builds spiritual strength and stability. Sanctification encourages and strengthens intimacy with God and builds spiritual strength and stability. The Bible says the righteous shall be as bold as a lion. It said the, the righteous shall be like Mount Zion that is immovable. Now, so it provides stability. Now, the Bible says in the book of Amos, Amos chapter 3, uh, you have your Bible there, please join me to open to Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Now, the Bible says, can two walk together except they agree? And why are we talking about being in agreement with God? Why do I need to be holy in order to be in agreement with God? Because God himself is holy. So the Bible may reminded us through Apostle Peter in the New Testament, not in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, it says in 1 Peter chapter 1, 1 Peter chapter 1, from verses 15 to 17. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 15 to 17. I hope you, are, you have your Bible there and you want to open to it along with me. And I read from here. He said, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy for I am holy. Look at that scripture. He says, because he that calls you and I is holy. So therefore you and I must be holy. Just, I mean, in all manner of conversation, because he, our God, is holy. Now, so we need to be in agreement with this God in order to walk with him, in order to be intimate with him. Now, because if we are not in the same mind with him, then we can't walk together. 
Now look at Psalm chapter 15, verses 1 to 6. Psalm chapter 15, verses 1 to 6. He said, Lord, who shall abide in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell in your holy hill? He said, he that walk uprightly and walk righteousness and speak the truth in his health. He that backbite not with his tongue, nor do, I mean, nor do it evil to his neighbor, nor take it up a reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is contemned, but he honored, honored them that fear the Lord, he that swear to his own heart and change it not. He that put it not out his money in usury, I mean, to usury, nor take it reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. Can you see the stability of the life of a sanctified life? A one that has not that have separated himself to walk with the Lord, with, with God, one who is walking uprightly, one that is walking in righteousness, one that does not use his tongue anyhow, one that keeps his heart, one that does not project or intend evil against his neighbor, one that does not take or I mean does not take up reproach against his neighbor, does not organize shameful things against his neighbor. He says someone that you know looks down on those who are who 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 are who have great displeasure. I mean those those people that are I mean that that, that walk in sins, that walk in wickedness, you do not agree with them. You look down on them. You do not honor them. He said they are the one that will come before God. And then the Bible says that they that does this thing shall not be moved. They that do this thing shall not be moved. Now, especially in this kind of season that we have, and we're going to still have more of it because this is the end time. Now, holiness provides me stability. Holiness, I mean, sanctification provides me stability. Assurance that God is with me. I am defended by God. I am shielded by God. You see, because God will not allow any evil, anything that will destroy his own children to come near him. Now, you could be asking me, what about Job? But the truth about Job is this. God knew in his heart that Job will not deny him, Job will not betray him. So he said, you Satan, go ahead and do it. Don't forget the Bible says in the book, in the New Testament, it says what? It says, none, I will not allow any temptation that is too strong, I mean that is stronger than you to come your way. So when temptation comes our way, God has the, 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 the assurance in his heart that you see this my son, this my daughter is able to overcome it. And I believe that God, God both I mean boastfulness concerning you and myself will not be betrayed in Jesus name. So I want you to I want us to begin to think of this great benefit. I'm going to enjoy intimacy with God. I'm going to enjoy I mean the aura of the presence of God. I want you to look at Isaiah chapter 33. Isaiah chapter 33. And let's look at that verse 16. He say, um, okay, let's look at 15 and 16. And then we move to the second, I mean, I mean, to John chapter 14, verse 21. Isaiah 33, 15 to 16. says, He that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly, he that despise the gain of oppression, that shake his handle, I mean, his hands from holding of bribes, that stop his ears from holding, Hearing of blood and shut his eyes from seeing evil. He said, He shall dwell on high. Look at the benefit. He shall dwell on high. Now, he will be lifted. He will be exalted. He said, His place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. His place of defense will be, the, shall be the munitions. Munitions means the weapons of rock. Now, the God, the rock of ages will be his defense. 
The bread shall be given him. His waters shall be sure. Wow, what a glorious benefit. Bread shall be given him. He will not lack anything good. His water shall be sure. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you and I begin to commit ourselves day by day, making the choice to live a holy and sanctified life. This shall be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I want us to, I want to bring you to quickly look at John chapter 14 verse 21 John 14 21 look at what the word of the Lord says he said he that hath my commandment and keepeth them he it is that loveth me and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father what a wonderful experience God said if you keep my commandment because holiness simply means Keeping the words of the Lord, obeying the word of the Lord. And Jesus said, he that keeps my commandment shall be loved of me. And, I mean, and he is the one that loved me. And he that loved me shall be loved of my father. My father will love him. I will love him. And will manifest myself to him. Woo! I will show myself to him. Wow! Did you understand that? I hope you can pick that in your spirit, man. That Jesus said, I will manifest myself to me. Jesus said, I will manifest myself to this, my son, to this, my daughter. I will shield him. He will not be moved by even a uh, coronavirus. He will not be moved by the place of the world. I will shield him with his home. That's God. You see, look at what, what happened to, or I mean, to, to, to Abraham. If you remember in the book of Genesis, I think it should be Genesis chapter 13 or 14, when he has to go and fight that, 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 I mean, that, that, uh, that, that king. He went to go and fight the king, uh, I think it's Shadda Lahoma, that, that went to go and take uh, into captivity uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, where Lot was dwelling. How can a man with 380 soldiers, I mean not soldiers, they were eight, 380 servants of his, in his household who have been trained. And now they have been trained in the ways of the Lord to trust in the Lord as their defense. And they have been trained as a soldier. And they have been trained in all ways. They were obedient unto their master and obedient unto God. 380 people going to go and fight against a, I mean, an army that defeated four allied nations. And you see, they defeated them. They killed them. Why? Because the presence of God was with them. You know, what kind of audacity will 380 people have to go and fight a nation, I mean, that have defeated four nations, allied nations together? It can only be God. In this season, my brothers and sisters, may we find assurance in the presence of God. May we find solace and rest in the presence of God, so that what moves the men of this world will not move you and myself. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. God's presence will go ahead of us, fight our battles for us, provide shield for us, provide his presence to be a fortress around you that God will always be saying, like we heard on Sunday, this is my treasured one. Don't come near it. Don't come near it. Don't come near this. And that would be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want us to go to the next one because time is not our friend. The next benefit. Number two, sanctification makes us useful and effective vessels for God's purposes. Don't you think that that's a great privilege? That you can become useful in the hand of the Lord. He says, sanctification makes us useful and effective vessels for God's purposes. Now, God has created you and myself that will become useful to him, that will become a praise to him. But the truth about God is this. Even though he has made all men, he has given us the choice, the will to make choices. Choices to, to be available to him. God will not just use any man. But rather, every man that, I mean, that meets his requisite. So, when you find it in the book of Isaiah chapter eight, chapter 6, when Isaiah has been prophesying, and suddenly God came into the guy, I mean, into the temple and encountered him. And when God, when he saw God, and he said, yeah, 
I mean, for the first time, Isaac came to the acknowledgement of who he was. And he said, I am a dirty guy. My lips are dirty. I dwell in the midst of dirty people. Men with dirty lips. Oh, Lord, have mercy on me. He saw his regiment and suddenly... The Bible says God sent, I mean, an, an angel to come with a hot coal of fire and lay it upon his tongue to cleanse his tongue. Wow. And then suddenly a voice came from heaven. Who shall go for us? Who shall go for us? It was then Isaiah was able to say, I send me, Lord. I'm available now. Send me. <laughs> No, it, it, it's, 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 it's wonderful to see that now several people might be, might be serving God or might be saying, I'm, I'm, I'm being used of God. And God is saying, oh, I don't know you. I don't know you. You know, he mentioned that in the book of Matthew, in the book of Luke as well. He says, on that day I will come. And some will come to me and say, ah, we use your name for this. We use your name for this. We use your name to cast out demon. We use your name to heal. We use your name to do this. And then he'll tell them, oh, mm, I never know you get away from me. Ah, And then they ask him, ah, how come you don't know us? We use your name. He said, when I was hungry, you never feed me. When I was thirsty, you never, you never give me, you never give me a uh, drink. When I was sick, you never visited me. I was naked, you never provide clothes for me. They said, ah, Jesus, what are you talking about? When did you get, when, were you, when, when did we ever see you like this and we did, not, we did not make provision for you? He said, oh, you see, anytime you do it for any of these little ones, your brethren, you are doing it for me. Oh, he said, we don't know. He said, that's too late. May it not be too late for you and myself. Now, so look at it in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses twenty. Uh, to 26, but we'll just quickly read verses 20 uh, to 22. 20 to 22. And then at home you can please read down to 26. It says, In a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from this, it shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet. Look at that word, meet, fit for the master's use. That's the word. That word meet means fit. And prepared unto every good work. Prepared. Ever ready soldier, ever ready vessel. Cleanse in and out. Sharp. <laughs> That's what God is saying. A vessel unto honor. Because it's already sanctified, settled, set aside. You'll be a vessel of gold, a vessel of silver, not a vessel unto dishonor. It won't be a wood, an earth in the hand of God, an earthen vessel. It's a vessel of gold, treasured vessel. May you and I become such in the hand of God, treasured vessel. In the name of Jesus Christ. So you see in verse 22, it says, Flee also youthful lust. Follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace, and with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Out of a pure heart. Now if we move up down, I mean if we move down to verse 19 or so, you will see, it says, Then I'm saying, the foundation of God's kingdom stands sure. Bearing this ill, the Lord knows those who are his and let them that bear the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. That's it. Now, I know what we are hearing this evening is not, it's not, it's not a popular teaching any longer because it's not something, it's, it's not motivational or inspirational or this. But I want to tell you there's nothing inspirational more than being more than being inspired to be in agreement with God. There's nothing motivating, I mean motivational to a man, than to be motivated to be in alignment and in agreement with God. That's the greatest motivation you can have. The greatest inspiration you can have is to walk, lie, I mean, side by side with God. And I see you walking side by side. 
I see you benefiting greatly. I see you becoming a treasure. I, be, I see you becoming an excellent vessel in the heart of God. I see God showing you, showcasing you and myself up for men to see. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's quickly go to the third benefit. The third benefit. Now, sanctification causes people around you to glorify God. <laughs> sanctification. Causes people around you to glorify God. Hmm. You, you, you might be wondering, how would they glorify God? Because when they see God in you, when they see Christ in you, <laughs> they see His glory, His power around you. They begin to feel, I mean, this is a different person. It looks like this guy is from another, plan, another planet. It looks like this guy is not of this universe. That's the way they looked at him. Huh? The Bible says in the book of Acts, look at men that have turned the world upside down. They have come to dwell with us again. These guys, who are those guys? Christians. The Bible says in Nantel, they call them Christian first. So let's look at first, first Peter chapter 2, verses 9 to 12. First Peter chapter 2, verses 9 to 12. He said, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which had now and which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Say, dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evil doers, they may by your good words, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Look at it. It says, Look at that verse. I say, where they speak against you as evil doers. That's not your con. No, your 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 your. I mean, your your testimony. Say they may by your good works, which they shall behold, they will see it. Matthew chapter five. Remember what the Bible says there. Say, let your light so shine that every man may see your good work and glorify your Father that is in heaven. Let them see your kindfulness. Let them see your, your, your mess, I mean, your, your, your disposition of mercy, your disposition of love, your act of forgiveness, your act of, 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 of generosity. Generosity to your God, generosity to men around you. You know, friends, this is the time to be more generous. <laughs> to be more generous. Generous to God, advancing the kingdom of God. Generous unto men around me. Men are in isolation presently. Several people are in isolation. We're going to get us informed about once our counselor got get back to us, we're going to get us informed. As many that are available, there will be opposed, op, I mean, opportunity for you and myself to show kindness. Possi to get a contact, get the list of, of, of food that they needed and drive out and go and get it for them. The government permits that. The restriction does not, does, does, no, I mean, does not affect such. Because they need to eat. They are in isolation, self-isolation. The pregnant woman. Those that are vulnerable in our time. The elderly. Those that are having one kind of head condition. You want to visit. You want to show kindness to them. In your neighborhood, find out who is available. We're going to try to design a card and we post it online to us. You can send it to people around in your neighborhood. And possibly if we can print it, if the time goes on beyond what we are thinking of then, God is giving us opportunity. We will try and see whether we can print them online. Get them delivered to us. If we have your, your, your address, deliver it to us. Post it to us so that you can begin to, we can begin to distribute it to people in your neighborhood. And, and when anyone returned them to you, they put them back to you, they want to 
Find a way to help them. Praise God. Showing kindness, showing good works, talking well, your conversation being chased, not cursing, not using the fight tongue. Praise God. Number four, sanctification builds and promotes peace with God. Sanctification builds and promotes peace with God. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10 to verse 18. There is nothing that is needed in this world more than peace. There is nothing you, you and I do food. Wow. I have no doubt that God will get us food. I mean, God will not allow you and I to be hungry. That's the miracle of God. <laughs> God is faithful. Someone will just remember you and drive to your house and drop some food at your door mouth. I mean, at your doorstep and drive up and call you, pick their food. I went to buy food for myself and I just remember you. Please enjoy it. And you find yourself that every of your needs have been met. Sanctification builds and promotes peace with God. So 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10 to 18. 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 10 to 18 says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. You know, coronavirus came as a thief in the night. <laughs> in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the world that are therein shall be burned up. I'm not sh I don't pray to be alive when this one will happen. I will pray that I will have gone. See, how, what do you think about the world melting up? It will be more painful. Praise the Lord. Second Peter chapter verse 11 says, Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in, an, in all holy conversation and godliness? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new heart, wherein dwells righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Be diligent that you be found of him in peace, rested. That's why Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 19, Say, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavily laden. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. Verse 15 says, and of that second Peter chapter 3, say, and I can that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him and written unto you. And also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also. The other scriptures unto their own destruction. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also be led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both, both now and forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Seeing you know these things before. What do we know? We know that the end time is here. We know that this world that we are is not our own. It's going to be consumed one day by fire. It's going to be melted. The heavens and the earth will be melted. So, in, in what ways, therefore, should I conduct my conversation? I should conduct my conversation with chasteness, chastefulness, with what? With purity of heart, with, with sincere composition, living my life to glorify God, knowing that I am not the owner of my life. 
And I'm sure God's grace is available for you and myself. The Bible says, I mean, uh, there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Here, now, Romans says, therefore, there is no more condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. No condemnation. They are at peace with God. They are at peace with themselves. At peace with men around them. No bitterness of heart against any man. No envy against, I mean, about of any man. No jealous, I mean, no jealousy against, to, I mean, towards anyone around them. They are satisfied with what God has given them. Even though they are trusting him for more, they are satisfied day by day. That's it. Whatever they have, they rejoice in God and knowing that greater things lie ahead of them. That's, that's, that's the life of a Christian. That's the life, of, that's the life that God has called us into, my, my brothers and sisters. And I want to trust God that everything that has been troubling your peace, tonight by the mercy of God, the Lord will root them out of you. In the name of Jesus, we root them out of your way, out of my way, out of our ways. In the name of Jesus Christ, what everything that is disturbing, that is contending with the peace of men in our community, in our nation, at the present, especially by the instrument of coronavirus, we pray that by the mercy of God, the Lord God Almighty, we root it out. There is nothing too difficult. Friends, I just discovered, I was saying, I was sharing with someone. Now, it, it doesn't take God one day to wipe off coronavirus. It doesn't take him one day. All he just needs is to organize something. You know, our Father in the Lord, in the redeemed Christian Church of God, our General of Asias, shared a testimony some time ago. He said, at a time that, I mean, they had, they had an invasion in the, in, I mean, that was that should be early time of the of the redemption of the redemption camp. They had invasion of these little little birds. They came from nowhere. They are yellow like this. I mean, I've, I don't know their uh, I mean their biological name, but I know their traditional name in my in my in my in my mother's tongue. But then they came. They are ravenous. I mean, they are, they are ravenous. I mean, they they, they 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 eat anything on their anything green, anything anything. They just come as they swarm like locusts and they come view when they come to a rice field they finish up everything so they came and began to eat everything ah, and then geo began to say what what do we do suddenly one day god they just saw a swamp from nowhere swamp of eagles they just came from nowhere and began to feed on this boat Pam, 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 pam. And within a few hours, all those birds that have been troubling them were gone. Friends, who told you that God cannot as well? Once we magnify him and recognize his lordship, who told you and myself that God cannot just tomorrow just cause something, another organism that we just eat up? Coronavirus. Just eat it up. And that will be the end of it. Even if it is not the end of it at this tweet, it will, it will be pushed to the, to the background. That will, I mean, everybody will be walking freely. Our economy will become freed from the captivity of coronavirus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Friends, peace, the walking in sanctification, walking in holiness, bring us peace. Now let's go to the last, the, the last outline for tonight, the last point that we want to look at. On benefit of sanctification. Now, sanctification brings pleasure to God and produces fruit. When you live a sanctified life, when you live in holiness, you bring pleasure to God. God enjoys you. Wow. God just enjoys you. I think that was what happened to Uncle Enoch in the book of Genesis. Uncle Enoch has been with God. Has been, I mean, they've been fellowshipping. God loves to come down to fellowship with his own people. Like he was doing unto Adam in the book of Genesis chapter 2. In the coolest of the day, he will come. Say, hi, Adam. How, was, how, how has your day been? Oh, 
<clears throat> what's happening with you guys? What did you do today? How many animals did you name again today? What names did you give out today? And then he said, uh, they just square now. How, how, how are this? How are that? And God just said, okay, bye. See you next. See you tomorrow. That's the way God comes and fellowship with his own people. God loves to fellowship with us. And you know what? So Enoch was a life that God take pleasure in. So I'm sure that was what really happened to him. God was settled with him. And then one day, maybe they were just taking a walk of fellowship together and gradually, gradually, and then, you know what? <laughs> this guy just looked and said, come on. Uh, God, I've gone too far with you. I don't think, uh, I don't think I want to go back to that place I'm coming from. And the Bible says, Enoch was not. For God took him. Let's look at Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 to 17. Very long, when you please. Uh, I won't be able to read all, but I want to call our attention to uh, verse 5. Verse 5. But you see, let's start from verse 1. We read verse 1 and 2, and then we go to verses, verse 5 only, and then we'll stop from that point. Uh, it says, Be ye therefore followers of God as their children. Look at that. Be followers of God as their children. And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and had given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling salvo. Verse 5 says, For this you know that no one monger, no unclean person, no covetous man who is an idolater hath any inheritance. In the kingdom of Christ and of our God. What are we saying? You see, there is an inheritance. And it takes a man that you have pleasure in for you to reserve something for him or her. So God says, everyone that walks with me in holiness, in sanctification, I'm going to do what? I have an inheritance set aside for him. I have an inheritance set aside for him. Join me to open to the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. I read again from here. It says, For it is God who is at work in you, both to will and to walk for his good pleasure. Did you see that? It is God. Who is at work in you and myself? Both to will and to walk and in our life for his good pleasure. God takes pleasure in us when we do his will. That's why the Bible says about Jesus Christ. The Bible says he, he loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, the Lord is God. Exalt him above all his fellows. Anointed him above all his fellows. The Bible says he gave him a name because he obeyed unto. He submitted himself Unto obedience, even obedience unto death. Huh? Obedience. I will keep my righteousness, whatever be. I will keep my right standing with God. That's what righteousness means. I will keep my work with God, regardless of what be. You know, this, this, this season, for example, is not the time that a Christian take advantage of people and begin to, I mean, you are selling essential commodities, essential things, and then you are increasing the price. Say, so now, uh -huh, it's time for me to make a gain. Uh -uh, no, no. The gain is that what you have not been able to sell before, people are going to come and buy it. That's the gain. That's the win for gain. What you will have sold within a month, you are selling within a week. That's the game. Not taking advantage of the system that is already depressed, distressed. And yeah, man, that's, that's, that's the life of a Christian. God works in us to do his will and to walk his will. To walk for his pleasure every day. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'd like to invite you to, uh, to think of all that we have looked at tonight. And if possibly, if you have a question, you can post it. Uh, if you're on Facebook, post your question. And within the next five minutes, and let's see what we can do. And if you, I mean, I can throw it out also when you post your question. If you're on, if you're on uh, um, um, the Zoom platform, please, you can, you can uh, put up your, maybe put up your hand or just uh, uh, also unmute yourself and just um, ask your question. And then we'll be able to uh, move on. Uh, we'll do that within the next five minutes. Uh, but if there is none, then we want to go ahead to pray. Hallelujah. I'm waiting. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, ask your question and then we'll be able to do all that we need to do. Sorry, permit me. I need to pick something from the top of my shelf. <laughs> that's, that's what it means to be at the comfort of your home and be ministering to people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, Thank you very much for bearing with me. Okay. Any question, please, from anyone out there? Okay. Seems that there is no question. Let's 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 take one or two prayer points. I want you to pray. I, I'm not giving you a particular prayer. Uh, I feel I I think I should allow you to just pray yourself. Lord, grace, grace to live. A life of holiness. A life that brings you pleasure. Grace to live, Lord, a life that, that, that turns me to become your treasure. A life that you can boast of. A life that you can, you can, you can, you can be, you will be on a shame of. Lord, give me that grace, I pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Lord, give me that grace, grace. The grace to live a holy life. Grace to live a life of separation unto thee. A life of sanctification. A life set aside for your praise. Give it to me. At my place of work, in and out, everywhere I go, Lord, that my life will speak of your praise. I know it's not going to be easy in the midst of this world, but Lord, give it, give me that grace. I make the choice to live a life of holiness. Go ahead and pray. I make a choice, oh God. I make a choice, a fresh choice I make this evening to live a life of holiness. A life, oh God, dedicated to your praise. A life, oh God, that advances your kingdom. Lord, give, Lord, I receive that grace to live such life. Lord, Watch me, oh God, I pray tonight of every wickedness, every form of love for the world that is still in me. Lord, watch me, oh God, that I have been able to live unto thee a life of holiness, a life set aside for your praise, a life to your glory, Father. Lord, watch me. Can you pray, pray, pray this evening? Lord, help me. Mali take care of broko sota. Libro soto bole kriye gashta talababa. Li take care of broko soto bali kriye gashta. Lord, help me, O oh God, to live a life of praise to You, O oh God. A life fully dedicated to You, O oh God. A life that brings You honor, O oh God. Always, O oh God, give me that grace. Give me that grace. Give me that grace, O oh Lord. Maria ma soto bole kriye gashta. Give me grace to follow. Abundant grace to follow. Give me grace to follow. Oh, your grace is enough for me. Give me grace to follow. Abundant grace to follow. Give me grace to follow. Your grace is enough for me. Give me grace to follow. Abundant grace to follow. Give me grace to follow. 
Your grace is enough for me. Pray that Lord give me grace. Pray that the Lord will give you grace. Receive grace from the Lord tonight. Receive fresh grace unto the, from the Lord, from the throne of grace. Lord, I draw grace from you. I draw great fresh grace, release of grace. I draw strength from you, O God. I receive strength and grace unto my brother, my sister. Lord, on this platform tonight, and those that will be listening to this message after now, Lord, O God, those that will be going through the study, O Lord, on their own later on, I pray, O God, for grace O oh Lord, Lord, to live true, Lord, a dedicated, sanctified life, a dedicated, committed, O oh Lord, holy life, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, grace to love what you love, grace to hate what you hate, Lord, give unto every one of us tonight, afresh in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, help us, O oh God, to be yielded unto you, Lord, grace, O oh God, that our heart will be open up, Lord, for your purification, that your word, oh God, will purify us. Your word will purify us. We'll be friends of your word, oh God. Your word says, oh God, how does a young man keep himself holy, oh Lord, except, oh Lord, by giving himself unto your word. Father, that your word will be our friend day in, day out, and will deliver us, oh God, from the stronghold of every form of worldliness. Deliver us from the captivity, oh God, of this world system. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray, oh God, that the full benefit, Lord, of a sanctified life, full benefit of a life of holiness, Lord, be released unto everyone under my voice. I declare according to your word that there will be no one among us lacking any good thing. No one among us, oh God, Father, oh Lord, will lack any good thing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare that your name remain a strong tower for all in the name of Jesus Christ, a strong tower that provides safety for us against every invasion from the people of hell in the name of the lord jesus christ lord take all the glory and praise blessed be your name O god in jesus christ precious name we have prayed amen hallelujah praise the lord what a wonderful night i i have been blessed so much here yeah? i've been blessed i've been blessed i, I and i'm see i'm see I'm, I'm being i've been blessed i've been blessed i believe that you also have been blessed if you have been blessed tonight, I look out. To, I, I look forward to receiving you back on this platform. Uh, please, uh, let's let's take listen to the following announcement. Uh, listen to the following announcement, and also to also uh, encourage you to cast your offering uh, unto the Lord. I mean, it's it's a time also to show our love for the Lord by casting our offering unto Him. Give your offering. Go to our website, RCCG. I mean, sorry, beautifulgateglasgow.org and uh, go to online giving click it and then give whatever you need to give and as well as you can you can go i mean you can do bank transfer to uh our bank uh <clears throat> account uh if you don't know the number please get a pen and let me give it to us uh it's uh sort code 801180 sort code 801180 and then the account number is uh 0606 zero eight six two again zero six zero six zero eight six two and that is bank of scotland you and then please uh reference it as your offering or as tight uh, or as whatever name of the uh offering that you are given again uh uh before we pray over our offering uh listen to the following announcement uh by the grace of the lord we are we are going into from thursday uh Thursday, we are going into what we call uh, communion with the King. Every which will be every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Saturday night. Uh, it's needed at this time to give us to us. I mean to to uh, provide divine immunity continuously for ourselves at six thirty p.m. every of this day. It will be for thirty minutes on Thursdays and Saturday, and then on Tuesday. It will be immediately after the Bible study, uh, which will end around 7.30. So we, by 15 minutes or 10 minutes, we'll have been able to take the communion. All you need to do on all those days is click on onto the platform, get your token of wine and your token of, of bread and get it ready. Um, within 15, 30 minutes, we are off from it. We're going to take one, two, three prayer points and then we'll be off. 
And then also from Monday next week, we will be starting uh, a morning, morning prayers. And that will be by the still water. That's the theme, by the still waters. Uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that will be at 6 a.m. to 6.15. That's a quarter of an hour. 6 a.m. to 6.15. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We'll also show, I mean, we'll share with us uh, the various uh, telephone uh, conference, telephone conference, a number that you can use to call in and then join the platform uh, so that and then also we'll be able to join through uh, Zoom and we can join in through also, um, 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 what they call it, uh, uh, Facebook. But I think especially on, on, we can join by Facebook, we can join also by Zoom, we can join also by the prayer conference if it's needed. Uh, I am not sure that that may be needed because uh, we'll be gathering so many devices around us. I mean, uh, so... Um, we, we also want to encourage us to keep on praying every day. Keep on praying every day. Keep your relationship with God very tidy. Keep it, keep it strong in this time. Uh, take time because use your travel time. The time that you have used to travel to work, use it to pray. Don't use it to sleep. Use it to pray, to worship the Lord. Take, I mean, take a book study from the Bible. Take a topical study from the Bible. Take a... Uh, is I mean a character study from the Bible. Just use this time to gain something, something deep about God, so that by the time we are coming out of it, you are not yourself any longer, and and that will be a great experience for you and I in Jesus' name. Uh, I would like so from by, by from Thursday, from Thursday we come back here to have our first uh, communion with the King, communion with the King. Take it serious, communion with the King. Just by the just shall live by faith. Uh, now let us pray for upon our offering as we are, and then we close tonight. Our Father and our God, we thank you for the privilege to give to the advancement of your kingdom. Lord, it's our own privilege. I mean, it's a privilege for us. It's for our own benefit that we give. Our giving does not change you. You remain the same. And so when we give, oh Lord, it's a platform for us to receive. I mean, to show our love to you and then a platform also, Lord, to enter, to, to promote our covenant work with you. And so, Lord, we pray, oh God, that you accept us and accept our offering. Breathe upon everyone, oh God. And Lord, let our, let our offering become a seed that, Lord, the heaven become open upon it, Lord, to wet it and let it bring forth great fruit. For us, oh God, that there will be seed, more, more seed for the sower and Lord, more bread for the eaters in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you praise and honor. And tonight, Lord, I send forth your blessing upon everyone under my voice right now. And those that will be listening to this, to this Bible study uh, at any other time, wherever they might be, in the name of Jesus, I declare that your countenance shall be lifted upon everyone. Your face will, face will shine upon everyone. Your glory will radiate upon each one or each one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the sake oh Lord of each one of us that are called by your name our nation shall be saved our nation shall be spared from this from this uh from the ravages I mean the the, the 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 destructive act of the coronavirus we pray your blessing oh God upon our medical practitioners our essential workers who are at the forefront right now we pray that you encourage them we pray that you will shield them Lord in the name of Jesus Christ we remember especially Everyone that worship in beautiful gate that are at the forefront right now as medical practitioners, Father, shield them. We declare that, Lord, your glory will radiate through them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We use them as a point of contact for everyone outside there. Social care, I mean, carers, I mean, social workers, and everyone, the nurses, the doctors. Lord, we pray, Lord, shield them, oh God. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for them and let your name remain glorified in their life. Lord, we receive wisdom for, our, for, for all our. Of all our leaders, political leaders, Lord, and all leaders in the marketplace and also in the churches, Lord, to make some decision at this time that no one will make decision out of pressure, out of, out of, out of, out of desperation in the name of Jesus Christ. But your spirit will guide us as we guided men of old in this kind of a time in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus Christ's precious name, we have prayed. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace together. With, uh, <clears throat> let's share the grace together where, where you are there. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the true fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide upon each one of us now and forevermore. Amen. And declare upon yourself, surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now I want to let you know that the morning prayer is not only for this season. It goes on and on until Jesus comes. As the Lord will grant, you, grant us strength and grace to, to do it. It's a, it's a, it's a, it, it will, it's come and it stays. Now, the, 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 the communion service uh, might come up and on, but it's, uh, I mean, my, my stop after this season, but the morning program stand, stand for, 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 for till Jesus come. God bless you. Thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, have a blessed night. Have a glorious day tomorrow at the Lord tarries. If he comes, we'll see him together in Jesus' name. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you.